The Working Committee of Naga National Political Groups has made an appeal to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Home Minister Amit Shah to find a way that can lead to an honourable and acceptable political solution to the much-awaited Indo-Naga political talks. A book titled Al Naga Illuminati has released on Monday by Reverend Kate Wati Jamir, a book which depicts the cultural and traditional practices of the Al Nagas that contradict with the beliefs of Christianity. In spite of recent slash in fuel prices by Nagaland government, a failure of public transport services remains unchanged, resulting in problems for commuters of Dimapur. Public voices their resentment over the auto fares not being reduced even after the price cuts. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday via video conferencing lays the foundation stone for two road projects which aim at improving connectivity to the temple town of Bandarpur in Maharashtra. Hello and welcome to Nagaland TV. You are watching English Prime Time. I am Chipen Kfung and here are the stories in detail. The Working Committee of the Naga National Political Groups has made an appeal to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Home Minister Amit Shah to find a way that can lead to an honourable and acceptable political solution to the much-awaited Indonaga political talks. In a press release, the Working Committee expressed optimism that with the arrival of A.K. Mishra as the new representative of the government of India in the Indonaga matter had given hope to the Nagas. In their statement, the Working Committee also will come the move of forming an opposition-less government in Nagaland, a decision taken by anti-PB and PF, BJP, elected legislators and all political party leadership. Meanwhile, the Working Committee also sought clarity from the state government of the latest stand on the Naga political issue, since it represents the people of 60 constituencies in the state. It said the government should also respect the desire and aspiration of the 14 indigenous Naga tribes, minority tribes and non-indigenous communities of Nagaland, the Nagaland Tribes Council, Nagaland Gaonbura Federation, Eastern Naga People's Organization, Central Nagaland Tribes Council, and so on. A book titled Au Naga Illuminati was released by Reverend K. Wadi Jamir. The author of the book, Cindy Akam Yadin, who studied theology, writes on the cultural and traditional practices of the Au Nagas that contradict with the beliefs of Christianity. However, he stated that the book does not intend to demean the Au community. The book Au Naga Illuminati was launched at the Muffet's Pantry Timapur on 8th November 2021. First of all, congratulations on releasing your first book. And uh, can you please tell us about yourself and uh, give a brief about your book? Right. Uh, yeah, Th thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. Uh, my name is Cynthia Kamiaden, and uh, I am uh, a, a student of theology. So right now I am doing my master's in New Testament from uh, Trinity Theological College, Singapore. Uh, regarding my book, I would say that this is a product of burden and concern. Now why I say this is, is I, after seeing my own people, the Aos, being bonded or let us say in change, uh, yeah, in, in, in chains by our origin myth, I see that we are unable to go forward. We are unable to uh, open up our minds, have a proper un understanding of what it all is about. But my aim was not to condemn or uh, nor to demean the, our culture, my own culture, but my aim is that it will help us to at least to, to, to make our culture better. 
Now I wrote this book from a very biblical perspective. Even though yes, uh, I have touched upon the the our origin myth. Along with that, I have also uh, brought in uh, different stories, different narratives, uh, origin myth of different uh, Naga tribes as well as other non Naga tribes who actually have some uh, who share some common points, some history with the owls. And those things have really helped me. But as said, the main focus was from the, from the Bible itself. What does the Bible say about this? Now, if we call ourselves Christians, how can we let a myth that says that we came out from stones rule our lives? If we say, <clears throat> if we, say we are Christians we, and we believe in God, where is God? What about the divine creation? How does the, the origin myth, the long truck myth, compare with what God has done with us? So it was from those questions that this book has come out. Yeah. The hike in petrol and diesel prices has caused hardships to all regardless of profession. The hike in fuel price has led to rise in auto fares and though the government has lowered the price of petrol and diesel price, some still continue to charge high prices for fare and refuses to lower it. Nagalin TV on Monday went to Dimapur Railway Gate to understand and ask the opinions of the public. We have more on this. Let us have a look at the report. <laughs> I mean, we have to do a lot of work. 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 We have to do a lot Nagaland Chief Minister Nipio Rio announced on his Twitter handle that four meritorious Naga youth have been selected by Tafma Nagaland under the Chief Minister's Scholarship for Music. The four candidates will undergo three months of intensive music and music production courses at Dr. A. R. Raman's KM's Music Conservatory in Chennai. The names of these candidates are Vitolu Zimomi, selected for production studio, Vicky Tonio Rutsa for piano, Vizovole Rutsu for voice and choir, and Pintu Niumai for voice. Assam Rifles post at Nokian village, part of Headquarters 7 Sector, Headquarter Iker North under the aegis of Spears Corps. On Monday, organized a free medical camp for the residents of a remote village Loako, Mon District, Nagland, which is located at Arunachal Nagland border. Loako village of Kanyak tribe is in Mon District, which lacks various basic facilities, including medical facility. The main intent behind conducting the medical camp was to reach out to the needy people of the remote areas and establish faith and build a cordial relations with the locals. A total of 80 villagers benefited from the medical camp, Loako village, Kaunpura, Randliam and Pasar express gratitude to the Assam Rifles for the same. Four-time Chief Minister of Nagaland and a veteran politician, in his own right, Dr. S. C. Jamir was awarded with the Padma Bhushan, the nation's third highest civilian award by the President of India, Ram Nath Govind, at the Darbar Hall at Rashtrapati Bhavan on Monday. Dr. Jamir also served as a former governor of Orissa, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Goa. Dr. Jamir is being honored with the Padma Bhushan for his exceptional and distinguished service in the field of public affairs. Born on 17 October 1931 in Ungma village, Mukokchung Dr. Jamir is the first ever Naga politician to receive the award. The veteran politician whose political career spans over 60 years is considered an authority of Naga political history.
an intensive workshop on choir conducting and voice has commenced in Mountain Music Academy tomorrow on Monday. HERT's Bertilis Ambassador of Latvia to India creates the inaugural function as the guest of honor, along with a special guest, Abu Meta. Notably, artist Bertilis thanked Chief Minister Nipirio and expressed gratitude to Abu Meta and Dejamiru for taking such initiative. Furthermore, the workshop will be conducted for three days while a concert will take place during the final day at Arsimba Kohima. I'm thankful for your hospitality that you have shown to both of us, to my embassy team, but even more to our three professors of music who have traveled. I just checked the distance between our capitals, Riga and city of Dimapur is 6,339 kilometers by air. <laughs> so it's truly uh, a global transcontinental journey. I'm very happy that, uh, to be back because, as many of you know, on, in February 2020, just happily prior to the complete lockdown and standstill for one and a half years, uh, we at the embassy and uh, two distinguished Latvian choral conductors and musicians, we arranged the first ever uh, music uh, classes and uh, mass workshops and, uh, and uh, choral festival where the first stop of ours was uh, in uh, But I can also speak up, yeah, yeah. it might be easier. So um, uh, we were happy to Dr. Palin Kungdong Bam, Managing Director of Shicha Hospitals and Research Institute Sri Imphal, announced that the National Medical Commission NMC has accorded permission for setting up the first private medical college in Manipur. The private medical college, Shicha Academy of Health Sciences (SAHS), will be situated at the Health Village in Imphal West District, Langol, and will be sponsored by SHRI. The medical college will also have an intake capacity of 150 students per year. Dr. Kung Dong Bam said that all necessary infrastructure is in place to begin the first academic session 2021 to 2022 from the month of December. While 20% of the seats at the medical college will be reserved for state government nominees, 65% will go to management nominees and 15% to NRIS. Former Congress MLAs from Manipur join Bardia Chanda Party, Rajkumar Imo Singh and Yamtong Haukip joined BJP in the presence of Union Minister Sarpananda Sonowal and BJP leader Sambit Batra. This development comes just months ahead of Manipur Assembly election. With this development, the BJP has expressed confidence that it will win the upcoming Assembly polls. President Ramnath Govin on Monday presented the Padma Awards in the Rashtrapati Pawan. Total of 119 Padma awardees were present, and the awards were presented by the president this year. The list comprises seven Padma Vipushan, then Padma Pushan, and 102 Padma Shri awards. 29 of the awardees are women, 16 Bostomas awardees, and one transgender awardee. Notably, Olympian PV Sintu, actor Kangana Ronald, filmmaker Karan Johar, producer Ekta Kapoor, women's hockey team captain Rani Rampal were among those honored with the coveted Padma Awards. Furthermore, late BGB leaders Sushma Soraj and Arun Jaitley and late singer SP Bala Supramaniam were also conferred with the award posthumously. While other prominent names who have been honored with the prestigious civilian awards include producer singer Suresh Watkar and and Adnan Sami, former head scientist at ICMR, Dr. Raman Ganga Ketar, Air Marshal Dr. Batma Bando Batye are among the others.
The Calcutta High Court on Monday took on record of the legal status report filed by Special Investigation Team. The SIT was constituted by the court to investigate cases other than rape murder that took place post-declaration of West Bengal Assembly election. The court also ordered the Central Bureau of Investigation to investigate on cases related to rape murder aftermath election results. Calcutta High Court directed both SIT and CBI to file fresh reports on 23rd December. On Monday, the court directed the councils to wait till fresh status. The court further stated that it would pass directions regarding compensation after such reports. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday via video conferencing laid the foundation stone for two road projects aimed at improving connectivity to the temple town of Bandarpur in Maharashtra. Notably, he laid the foundation stone for four laning of five sections of Sri Sant Dhaneshwar Maharaj Balki Mark, that is the NH 965, and three sections of Sri Sant Dakuram. Maharaj Palki Mark NH 965G. Furthermore, dedicated walkways for Ballant Queen will also be constructed on both the site of the national highways, providing hassle free and safe passage to devotees. Meanwhile, Union Minister of Road and Transport and Highways Nitin Katkari, Minister of State for Road Transport and Highways, Vicky Singh, and Leader of Opposition in Maharashtra Assembly, Devendra Fatnavis, were present in person at the Foundation Stone Lane Ceremony at Bandarpur. <laughs> स्त्री और पुरुष समानता भी अंतर निहित है बहुत सारे वारकरी स्त्री और पुरुष भी एक दूसरे को मौली मौली नाम से पुकारते हैं भगवान विठ्ठल और संत ज्ञानेश्वर का रूप एक दूसरे में देखते हैं आप भी जानते हैं कि मौली का अर्थ माँ है यानी ये मातृ शक्ति का भी गौरवगान है साथियों महात्मा फुले वीर सावरकर जैसे अनेक पुरो the party agenda party West Bengal unit has hit the streets from Monday demanding a reduction of value-added tax on petrol and diesel. The agitation has been scheduled for five days. The union government on November 3rd announced cut in excise duty by rupees 5 on petrol per litre and rupees 10 on diesel per litre. Matching to the union government, 22 PJP and allies ruled state and union territories decided to slash VAT in different proportions. However, states ruled by opposition did not reduce taxes on fuel. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Sunday urged the party Achanda Party BJP workers to become a bridge of faith between the party and the people and say they must forge ties with the people based on the party's guiding values of service, resolve and sacrifice. The Prime Minister was addressing the party's National Executive Committee meeting in his 50 minutes valedictory address in New Delhi. Prime Minister Modi said, stressed that the PJP runs on the values of Sewa Sankalp or Sambaran, service, resolution and commitment, and does not revolve around the family, urging its members to work for people. Union Minister Pubender Yadav said he also expressed confidence that the PJP would win the trust of people in the upcoming assembly polls in five states. Former Congress President Rahul Gandhi on Sunday hit out at the government on the issue of poverty and alleged that those who were in the middle class in the country are poor now and the poor are being crushed now. Taking a swipe at the government over a media report that claimed that in the last eight years the poor in the country are rising rapidly. He asked where are those who used to say Achedin Aiga. 
Good days are coming. The report claimed that in 2020, 7.6 crore people have gone below the poverty line and the number of poor is increasing. The Congress, on its official Twitter account, also alleged that people have lost their better days while waiting for Achetin to come. Kanti made an apparent reference to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's remarks ahead of the 2014 Lok Sabha elections, where he used the slogan, Achetin are coming, in his poll campaign. India is all set to get the fourth COVID vaccine this month, with the center placing orders for one crore doses of Gujarat-based Zydas Catilas, three-dose candidate. The vaccine Zykov T has already been granted to emergency use authorization for adults and children above 12, making it potentially the first to be administered to the adolescent population in India. The center's move also paves the way for the use of the first COVID vaccine in the world to be developed on a DNA platform where the SARS-CoV-2 spike proteins are reproduced to create antibodies. A lashkar e taiba terrorist on Monday was apprehended in a joint operation of Jammu and Kashmir Police, Central Reserve Police Force and Indian Army. The search operation was conducted in Mirkant, Pulwama. Furthermore, the terrorist has been identified as Sarwir Ahmed Mir, age 21, a resident of Patan, Pulwama. Notably, two hand grenades were recovered from his possession. According to police, Sarwir Ahmed Mir went missing from his home recently and joined LET. Meanwhile, security forces also arrested an active lashkar e taiba terrorist during a search operation in Anantnak district of Jammu and Kashmir earlier in the day and recovered one pistol and seven rounds from his possession. Security arrangement was heightened outside Antilia, the resident of the residence of Mukesh Ambani, following a phone call made to Mumbai police by a taxi driver who claimed that two people carrying a bag asked for Ambani's residence. According to sources, a DCP level rank officer is monitoring the situation while the CCTV footage is also being checked continuously outside Antilia. And that's all we have for you now. For more news and updates, keep watching Nagaland TV. This is Chipen Naga, signing off.